We're here today because we know about the critical importance of supporting our residents and our industries with access to high-speed broadband internet that is affordable. We all know our Connecticut economy relies on top-notch research universities, high-tech, biotech, all these sort of companies, insurance that needs access to high-speed internet. This initiative that will be announced today by three of our cities is building on a Connecticut strength. My own interest in this issue is driven by my communities of West Hartford and Farmington. Um, I, uh, Deputy Mayor Sherry Cantor is here and Town Council Chair Nancy Nickerson is here. Uh, and really there's a corridor of research going on in there with Bioscience Connecticut, with the Yukon Health Center, with startup industries in West Hartford. And we also have thousands of residents who would benefit from an enhanced marketplace. There is a need today for cheaper, easier access to ultra high speed internet access. So we're talking about gig networks. Just to give you a background, um, a gig network delivers 1,000 megabits per second. Today, the average speed in Connecticut of your home connection is about 9 megabits. So we want to go from 9 to 1,000. So it's an increase of 100. That's what we're trying to do. And what we've heard from Connecticut citizens is that they need access, but we're not getting it. Now, as a result of this change led by Beth Bayh and the other legislators who were so supportive in this room, um, now has one of the best, if not the best, system for easy, low cost, and fast access to utility poles to help this happen. And that change makes the utility poles available to the municipalities to help create these networks in partnership um, with the providers.